In the vast world of the overhaul mods of Elden Ring, we can find some big projects out there. One of the most ambitious until now is Elden Ring Reforged, which basically changed the game big scale. Well, that's indeed the main purpose of an overhaul mod. Other good examples of these types of mods are Elden Ring Dark Moon, Reborn, Ascended and many others. I even made a top video of my favorite Elden Ring overhaul mods, you can check it out in the description down below. But today I will talk about the newest and so promising big mod that changed the game giving place to a completely fresh and enjoyable Elden Ring experience. Besides of having a precedent, a very good one, being the second most popular mod of Dark Souls 3. In this video I will tell you the most important features of this incredible mod, without revealing too much new content so you can enjoy your first gameplay by yourself. Let me introduce you to Elden Ring The Convergence mod. Please tell me in the comment section if you have played Elden Ring mods, if not, tell me what's holding you from doing it. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, you can make my day better with two clicks, thank you. Now without anything further to say, let's get started. What is the Convergence mod? Let's begin with the meaning of Convergence to reach a better point of understanding. According to the best scientific source in the world, Google, Convergence is the coming together of two different entities. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And in the context of computing and technology, is the integration of two or more different technologies in a single device or system. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surprisingly, this definition is very accurate on how it feels to play this new project. However, let's quickly mention the main features of this mod in order to explain each one the best way possible. The mod kicks hard with nothing but 30 new unique weapons. Weapons you have to obtain through your new adventure. At the moment I only have 3, meaning that I need 27 more. And how do I get these new bad girls? Well, you have to play Elden Ring like it's the first time. You will explore the world, complete some quests and eventually you will find them. Nevertheless, in the description you will find a link where you will be able to see the location of each one of the new weapons if you are trying to get a more linear or guided experience. I couldn't believe this when I see it for the first time, but the Convergence mod features approximately 360 new spells which are obtained by collecting new items called spell runes that are located all around the world. Just use the spell rune to obtain new spells like its runes. These spells are divided in a total of 18 schools, each with around 20 to 25 spells. Each spell school has 5 spell runes of different levels. The higher the level of the spell rune, the more powerful the spells are, but also the level requirement of the spells are higher. This mod is the project with the highest amount of new classes, and I'd say the classes of Convergence are the most original and interesting of any other overhaul mod, since each one came up with a unique set of weapons, armors, items and obviously spells. But of course, that's up to you. Anyways, one thing's pretty sure, you will have a huge amount of new possibilities playing with different styles and powerful builds. Do not be afraid of testing out multiple classes until you find your favorite one. It's important to mention that each class will start in a different location of the map. I picked up the Underworld Mage, which its main power is the Frost Lightning, and I started my journey in the lowest part of the Siofra River Well. If there is something that makes me enjoy an overhaul mod is the addition and modification of the bosses, and the convergence does both. First of all, we have 9 new boss fights. I have only phase 2, and I have to say they didn't disappoint me at all. They are very polished and of course very difficult. After all, isn't that the point of a Souls game? Each boss fight has its very own moveset with spectacular visual effects and a really cool design. You can encounter the very first new boss fight at the beginning of your new run. I guess. The mod also changed the bosses in many ways to make the gameplay more balanced. For instance, in my gameplay I know these Morgoth holy attacks are slower now, but they deal way more damage, and Godric, which previously was such an easy boss fight, increased its difficulty slightly thanks to his attacks being faster and dealing more damage. If you want to see more details on the change of each boss, check the link I put in the description.
the talismans and the crystal tears are not obtained anymore by looting them from the world. There is a new system in the mod called Remnant Crafting, which basically will allow you to get any talisman or physic you want depending on the amount and type of the remnant that you have. For example, there are remnants specifically for the physic tears of one type. It could be for offense or defense, the same with the talismans. Let's say that there are two main types of remnants and each one subdivides in multiple types with a specific purpose. It sounds weird or confusing, but once playing the game is pretty easy to understand and it's a very cool and original original way to obtain such important items as talismans and tears for the physic flask. There are two main parts of the progress system I'd like to address, the weapon reinforcement and the main quest progress. In most outer worlds, weapon reinforcement has been redesigned, all weapons will now be reinforced to plus 10 at maximum, and the scaling benefit between standard and somber reinforcement are identical. This means that we will not need 10 types of stones to upgrade our weapons, we will only need 4 to upgrade normal weapons and 5 for somber weapons. They made these tables to make it easier to understand, however something I don't know yet is if there is an item that allows the player to buy these new smithing stones with a merchant. However, I'm pretty sure it's just me being dumb and don't realizing where to buy these items. Now let's talk about the main quest progress route. In the vanilla game, you just have to defeat the four shard bearers, Godric, Renala or Radan, Morgoth and Maliketh in order to progress to the end of the game. However, in this case we will have to kill five main bosses that hold something called Keystones of the Forge. I assume that we will not be able to burn the earth tree until we get all five Keystones, cause we will only get access to the Forge because we will only get access to the Forge of the Giant once we have collected the 5 Keystones. And these are the ones I consider the most important features of the Convergence mod. I'm pretty sure the first 3 will be more than enough to make the people want to try this amazing mod. However, if you want more details or you have doubts, there is no one better than the creators of the mod to solve your questions, so you will find their Discord server link on the description of this video. In my personal opinion, I enjoyed my first 5 hours of gameplay like it was a new game. I love the new system to get talismans and I forgot to mention a very important feature that has relation with the new bosses called three sentries, which are some sort of three knights that are located near to the minor air trees, and it's also related with the air tree avatar boss fights. Because if we beat any of the bosses I previously mentioned, we will be able to teleport to multiple locations around the world even late game once. This is very good because it gives a new way to enjoy the progress route of the game. And as I was saying, I love the mod so much. I strongly recommend you to give it a try, it's 100% free, and remember it's on alpha test phase, so be aware that you might experience some minor glitches. Once again, I invite you to drop a like and subscribe to support your favorite mod showcaser. I hope you have enjoyed this video, it was a pleasure to talk with you again. My name is Carlos and see you in the next one.